All right, welcome back to another episode of Basement Brew Review. Today we have the, or today, or this episode, um, we have the same thing for years. (laughs) We've got Consecration from Russian River Brewing in Santa Rosa, California. This is a sour beer um, that's been aged for 8 to 12 months and Cabernet Sauvignon barrels and mm-hmm. aged with black currants. Um, full disclosure, I've had this beer before. It is one of my favorite sours of all time. 10% alcohol by volume, so it is a strong sour. Um, once again, we've talked about in a previous episode about the, the line between beer and wine. We are back across that line. When the, the brewer itself says that it has a rich notes of fruit, spice, tobacco, chocolate, sourness with a hint of subtle oak. So let's see if that all comes through. So cheers, enjoy it. It smells good. Woo-hoo. I, I definitely get the oak flavor. Oh, the oak again? At the end, yeah. Okay. I get Ooh, the oak. You that's can sour. Bretomyces, sour. The currants. I don't know if it's currants. Or it's Black currants, yeah. yeah. It looks Ooh. like a... It looks like whiskey. It looks <laughs> like whiskey. Yeah. You can see <clears throat> the yeast still suspended in it. Mm-hmm. It's it's good. It's very it's very sour. Mm-hmm. And this bottle was bottled on one eighteen of last year, twenty nineteen. So the bottle itself is about a year old. It was aged for eight to twelve months. So it's it's at least a you know anything with a dagger on front should be <laughs> forewarned, handled with caution. Yeah. So this is I always uh, go if I'm in the Bay Area. I'm for work a lot. Try to make it the Russian River or little bottle shops and buy some of their sours. They run this. Um, like a couple times a year, if I remember. Um, but every time I see it, I buy at least one or two bottles because it is good. It's yeah. really good beer. Really good. I bring it back to share. Huh? It's one of those things. It's a good sharing beer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a kick in sour, it's, too. I couldn't sit down and drink that bottle by myself, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be hurting. I'd have sour belly. <laughs> you said you, you, you drank. Like, I drank three well, small glasses at the brewery one time. So, like, five ounces. Yeah. Or okay. eight, eight, five, eight. Um, Something like that. And I got done with it. I just kind of sat there going, I ate some pizza. Like, Ooh. <laughs> so I mean, it's it's a strong medium taste. I mean, it doesn't taste hot. It no, does it doesn't. No, it doesn't have. It. I don't taste like it's ten percent. I don't get much <clears throat> pinot in there like we did. Because suffocation is a pinot too. Pinot nor this is Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh, right. So okay. the cab is going to be a little bit darker. Um, yeah. Not the man we're not going to go on the wine path, but it's just yeah. different flavors. Um, <clears throat> and the Russian River obviously is known for its wine growing region. And Russia River Brewing is, was the upstart area where they actually started, hey, we're going to brew right. beer in the wine country, which, hey, that's, that's fantastic for them. Um, but they've got a lot of good sours. You go and they've got like 30 or 40, you know, probably 30 beers on, on tap at a given point. they got some um, guest taps, but they always have the sours on the bottle right there. And it's, I love sour beers. I love they have great IPAs. Um, I'm sure people, a lot of people know of the um, Pliny, the Elder, uh, which we'll do uh, here soon enough. But... Um, you know, people go for the, the IPAs, and I think that the sours are kind of missed at Russian River. So uh, it, it's good. It's a good sour. It's hard. Even within the sour category, it's fantastic. Yeah. As beer with con- with how, you know, convoluted the flavors are, everything you get, it's it's very neat. Not for everybody. Of course, if you don't like sours, or you've never tried yeah. sour, don't start here. Because you will get, sca- <laughs> you will get scared. Like, oh my God, what sour beer taste like this? this? Yeah, it's, it kind of, it's, it's got, it's... It's going towards vinegar. It's sour. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm actually getting a little bit of a funky aftertaste off this one that I'm I, not I digging. So am I. Is that the Bermyces, maybe? I think maybe. it is. Yeah. It's, it, I'm almost getting that peaty kind of... Wet dog in a phone booth? Antiseptic. Well, mm-hmm. I've, never, I've never held on to a bottle. Because I think I got this one in April of last year. I've okay. had it since then. So I don't know if that's the, the bottle, because it doesn't say... Usually they, they last pretty well. So I don't know if it's the bottle, but usually it did taste like this off, at the t- off tap too. So it's, mm-hmm. but yeah. it's what you like kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. First first impression, I really like it a lot, like a lot, a lot. But that aftertaste is kind of the more you go, the less. Like you, you yeah. do like one or two small, like you wouldn't do like it's a, a sipping right. beer to begin oh, yeah. with. Well, <clears> and <throat> then the aftertaste just kind of kills it for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I would sit down. If I'm gonna do it, I would. I would take two nights to drink a bottle like that if I were doing it after drinking a lot of it. Put yeah. in small glasses and sip or share it with some friends. Yeah. Um, Aww. Aww. No, I, I feel like I need a glass of water and maybe uh, <laughs> spit 
spittoon here, or in between. It's a little something. Mm -hmm. Cleanses the palate. Like a little cheese plate next to it. And you get the woody this on the back end. Mm -hmm. I, get, I get some, but not not a crazy. Amount. I wouldn't say I get a lot. It's a, it's a supplication. I think I have more. Yeah, you definitely get the wine right at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Like that first initial, like as soon as it hits, like that okay. musk. Yeah, and then, <clears throat> then oh, there's the sour. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, numbers, Justin. Four point five. I like it. I've always liked it. Um, it's a good sour. It's got, it's got the sour. It's got the body. It's got all different flavors. It's got a little bit of that funkiness, which take it or leave it. Um, it's good. Four point five. Okay, I'm going four seven. Ooh, nice. It's, it's, nice. it's it just because it's I just I like it. I like the sour taste. It hits you. There's a lot of flavor to it. The currants are great. The, mm -hmm. the cab is good. Yeah, I like it. Four point seven. So we've said it before. Since we're grading on a scale of five, two point five would be dead center. Wow. Um, I'm going with a three. Wow. I, I like it. I just can't get behind it with the aftertaste. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm going a little higher than that at 3.5. 3.5? Three, 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 yeah. Okay. <clears> just because, what, too sour? Or? <clears throat> no, it did the, the, the way it finishes. Okay. Yeah, and I maybe maybe I'm just, like, kind of getting off the sour train more so than I used to be on. Like, I used to really, really like sours, but I just, I don't know. The past few sour beers, sour -ish beers we've had here, they just haven't really. Well, it's, it's funny because... When we really found sours, you were what, God, 10 years? Not, maybe about no, it, was, it was over 10 years. 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 They were far and few between. The yes, New Belgian right. Waffle A was like yeah. the one you could find oh, that was that's common. That's such a good beer. Um, but now, like you said, I don't know if we burn ourselves out or we just know the ones we like. Yep. But now that sours have become much more prevalent between either just the traditional sour style or the Gosa style, yep. we're kind of like, eh, well, whatever. It's now, saturated. What's, what's, yeah, what's the next? There's an oversaturation. Yeah. Well, you can go to Wicked Weed and make the epic mistake I did of drinking one of everything on the menu in a day. <laughs> you, and, remember, you remember that? I remember that. I did flights. I didn't get full glasses, but I did flights of the entire Funkatorium menu. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> and you, you became the Funkatorium. <laughs> it, it tasted... Some of them were amazing at the time, some of them were not, but after I was done and I walked up the street to Catawba, hmm. I was regretting all my decisions <laughs> I have ever made in my entire life. <laughs> my stomach doesn't feel good. It was just a lot of sour. So if, you're, if you're in California, because I do, I do not know how far Russian River distributes their sours, but if you're in California, if you're in Northern California, if you're in Santa Rosa and you like beer and you like sours, go to Russian River, try their sours, try Consecration, try Supplication, you did that one previously. Uh, give it a shot, and uh, if you like sours, you'll probably enjoy it. So, you guys got anything else? Nope, nope. All right, as we say, may, may the, the brew be with you. you.